everyone, my name is Leah. And I'm Emily. And we are celebrating our 10 year anniversary over at leahgriffith.com. That's 10 years of craft projects we have on our website and we just counted and there's 3,333 crafts for you to look through. That's a lot of crafting. <laughs> We've been very busy here. And to celebrate our 10 year anniversary, we're actually doing a spring craft summit. If you want to join us for the spring craft summit, you can join us for the week of April 17th through 22nd. And we'll be filming these videos live. If you find this video later than this date, you can always come and watch the replay. So today we're going to show you 12 crafts to celebrate spring. And we'll start with the five that we're doing for the summit. For our first summit class, we're going to be learning how to make these beautiful cardstock apple blossoms. These are so realistic and I can see myself using these year after year for my spring decor. Our second class will be a customizable dog stuffy and this one is a corgi but we have some variations that you can learn and we'll be showing you Krista's best tips and tricks for making stuffies. Our next class will be this felt Japanese anemone and just look at how beautiful this is. For our fourth class, we'll be learning how to make these basic flowers that you can put on any piece of clothing. I designed these so you can mix and match them and arrange them however you'd like. And for our fifth class and our member make this month, we're going to be making these abalone pearl peonies. This is our final class for the spring summit, which will be Friday, April 21. A cute craft to make for spring are these flower macrame keychains. This would be a great gift for Mother's Day. And also for Mother's Day, we made this paper flower mom cake topper. I would love to see that on my Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> to add to your paper plant collection, Megan has made this absolutely stunning snake plant. Look at all the detail on the leaves. And she did this with paint. This seriously looks like a real snake plant. For number nine, we have these clay garden markers. These are great to mark all of your starter plants for spring. One of my favorite projects is this layered paper cut flower arrangement wall art. I designed this so each flower is loose and you can place it in the pot however you like. Interactive art. Next up is this flower pillow cover. It's a great way to add a little spring to your home decor. And this is made with vinyl and felt. And for all of your paper plants, we now have some paper pots. These are made out of cardstock and you can make them in whatever size that you want. And I think these are a great addition to our plant collection. Of course, as always, you can find all of the supplies to make these projects in our shop at feltpaperscissors.com. And we hope you join us at leahgriffith.com for our spring summit this April. All right, everybody, let's get crafting and celebrate 10 years and we'll see you next month.